He goes for the win here this afternoon. Ronnie is number 16, and he's the big story as we get to the racing action here. Highlights from heat race number one. Watch the pass on Steve Moorhead, moving him into third. Ferris is the leader. Terry Booby second. And what's notable about this is that Ronnie Jones started 10th after a miserable qualifying effort. Up to third, that puts him in the transfer spot for the main event if he can hold on to it. Here's Jones going to the outside. Booby on the inside, both after the lead. Moorhead, Billy Herndon, Dave. Davey Campbell, Keith Day, all hooked up in that draft. And Bill Warner, this looks like typical Springfield racing. Talk to me a little about track conditions today. Track conditions are what you'd call normal for Springfield. It's fast. Tires are always a problem at Springfield because the corners are so big. Everybody has a problem blistering tires. You don't get it exactly right, you go to the back of the pack. That's a story we'll continue to follow throughout the day as we follow the battle for the lead right now. Jones from 10th spot gives up the lead to Kuby. And in white, that's Rodney Ferris tucking right in under Ronnie Jones. And that is the scramble. Remember, only the top three from these heat races get transfer spots to the main event. And that's why the competition is so intense for that that third spot in particular, but believe me, everybody in that first pack of seven wants to get the direct shot to the main event. Ronnie really has come alive. When you qualify that badly and run this well, you figured something out. He's made some changes. He's been experimenting with some disc wheels. And for qualifying, quite frankly, they just didn't work out for him. He's back to his old spoke setup. He's doing a lot better. Inside move by Rodney Ferris on the Gardner Walters Brothers Harley Davidson. He says, too many Hondas up front. Got to get myself into the middle of this. Jones is on a Honda. And then it's Ferris on the Harley. Booby is back on a Honda after riding a Harley for much of the season. They're into the final lap. And now the age-old question, where do you want to be when you go into turn three? race long they're analyzing which corner am I fastest in one or two three or four or both I guarantee you Ronnie Jones wants to be leading off this last corner he doesn't want to be sitting back I think he's a charger he wants to be leading off the last corner he holds the spot Ferris looked like he had an ocean on the inside elected to follow him Booby came around Ferris on the outside that'll spoil Ronnie's plans may put Booby in position to make the draft pass down they come there goes Booby with the slingshot no he's short Ronnie Jones wins it by a couple of feet. Booby second, Ferris third. They go to the main. Moorhead and Herndon head for the semi. Ronnie, all the way from 10th or 11th up to the number one position. Well, we had, uh, we've been trying some things. Uh, Scott and Chris got us trying some things, trying to trying to come up with something we can beat them with. And uh, we ended up, after qualifying, just going back to what we'd been running. I didn't time trial very well. We went back to what we'd been running most of the racetracks, and it worked great in the heat. So maybe we should have just left the thing alone to start with. 